Yeah, I think that uh, people can't do their best unless they feel their best. I mean, the uh, Renaissance thinker Machiavelli once said, people are motivated by love or fear. Uh, he said, love is too fickle, therefore motivate through fear. Well, you know, he got part of the picture right. Love and fear are the two big motivators, but he misunderstood the motivation of love. The motivation of fear, if you try to motivate people through fear, people are pretty smart. They figure out what they can do, the least they can do to still avoid the feared consequences. If you can motivate people through the right kind of love, not for love of the leader, but the relationship they stand into their deepest values, that kind of love, then you, you have a situation that can be maximized over the long run. You have a kind of a formula for excellence that's sustainable, and I think that's what leaders are looking for now. If I can help leaders inspire the highest aspirations and the deepest values in their people, that creates a foundation for not only competitiveness, but for sustaining excellence over the long run, which is now, you know, it, it, it's new on, on people's minds. For a while we had an economy where people just wanted to build a business, quick sell it and get out. Now we're understanding that's not the healthiest way to do business. And so people are calling themselves back to the ancient wisdom that will help them sustain.